Is there anyone among us this morning that has been sick? And instead of praying for yourself and your sickness, you prayed for someone else who was ill? Chances are, you prayed to Jesus for your own healing, which is understandable. I say that to say this, you will never find a friend in your entire life, anyone that loves you more than Jesus. Now I know that there are married couples here this morning. They've been married for many, many years and they love each other. They remember their wedding vows. And I believe they love each other and that's the way God intended. But I am here to tell you that there is a man who loves you more than anyone will ever know. And his name is Jesus. He will never let you down and he will be with you even to the end of time. While Jesus was in excruciating and mind-numbing torment on the cross, he had the heart, mind, and will to pray for others. He also made a promise to a dying, repentant thief. And by the grace of God and the power of Christ, that promise was kept. The thief's sins were washed away, and his death that, that day was his entrance to paradise. This confessed thief did not know scripture, or understood theology, had not recited a creed, nor joined a church, or been baptized. He was in no position to do anything redemptive or to clean up his life. He simply turned to Jesus and asked, remember me when you come into your kingdom. The thief realized who Jesus was, responded to the message of salvation, and his sins were forgiven. He had a change of heart and wanted to spend eternity in heaven with Jesus, not in torment in hell with Satan. What about you this morning? Where are you, where are you planning to spend eternity? If you want to make heaven your home, then Jesus is the answer. Jesus tells us in Luke 15, verse 17, that there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 righteous persons who do not need repentance. What are your plans this morning? Are you going to make Jesus your all in all? Jesus also tells us in Luke 18, verse 29, 30, that no one who has left home or his wife or his brother or his parents or his children for the sake of the kingdom of God will fail to receive many times as much in this age and in the age to come eternal life. Please my brother my sister do not be like the other thief who was next to the Savior also. He heard him pray, he witnessed the salvation of the thief, he saw the world go dark and he heard the testimony of the Son. But his pride kept him from submitting to the only one who could save him. And when he one day bows to the name he mocked, he would be doing so reluctantly and wild in torment. Don't let your pride keep you from the only one that can save you. Today is the day of salvation. Tomorrow is not promised. Pick up your cross and follow Jesus. Don't worry about your friends because one day they too will pick up their cross and follow Jesus. Everything will be all right. Trust in Jesus. I know it will be all right because I trust in him also. Jesus tells us in Matthew 29 verse 36 that no one knows about the day or the hour, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son of Man, but only the Father. Jesus is warning us to be ready for his return. When Satan tries to attack you, remind Satan what Jesus did for you on the cross. Jesus loves us so much that he gave his life for us. For no man took his life, Jesus gave his life, and he gave it freely.